Hey everybody! I have you in the microwave. <laughs> Dude, look. I don't have a tripod. I thought, where the heck can I put this camera so I can say hello? <laughs> Jerry's at the CPA. <clears throat> I went to the dentist yesterday and they cleaned my teeth and did the x-rays and I told him that I think I've been grinding my teeth and the dentist came in and looked at the x-rays and he said uh, all of your crowns are completely flat <laughs> I said well I thought I'd been grinding my teeth so you know what they do they make you this thing that you have to wear at night so you don't grind your teeth in bed so they stuck that great big tray of gag me goop up in my mouth I thought I was gonna die Ugh. and the guy you know not only do they put the tray of goop the guy's got his hand up in there underneath it <laughs> oh my goodness so I have to go back he said well it takes us two weeks to get this thing ready I said well I'm not coming back in two weeks I, I can only stay until Monday so they suddenly decided they could have this $700 little piece of plastic ready by Monday for me so, as always, there's a reason we end up staying longer. So, I just happened to bring... I didn't bring a sewing machine this time. But I brought my Sherpit Designs Pants Kit. And I'm drawing some new pants. My body has decided, since we've been vacationing and going to all these restaurants, to, you know, unloose the 10 pounds I lost. It's, I don't know, I've gained back at least five or seven, I'm sure, because my measurements are back to the way they used to be. <clears throat> I'm like, good grief, why do I care? Just be what you are. So, um, I'm drawing a pants pattern. How am I drawing it in this tiny trailer? I will show you. I came up with this idea. I told Jerry I'm going back to when I was 18 years old. And I didn't have any money. <laughs> and I hauled this board around with me everywhere I went. So I brought it with me here and I've got it on the bed in the bedroom. Um, I'm trying to see how I can show it to you. Let me see. I'm going to take you out of the microwave and take you with me, okay? <laughs> can you see me now? Yes, I have my scissors and my paper in the kitchen sink with the dishes that are drying from breakfast. And in our bedroom, I have this fold thing. You know, this big cardboard thing that folds up, folds and folds and folds and folds and folds. That's what I used to use when I was young. And so, I brought it with me because I thought it would be nice because you can pin into it. And I haven't used a pin yet. I'm, I'm using actually the spice jars to hold it down. <laughs> so, I'm drawing the front of the pant. And I am making the leg narrower. I've got the hip at 42, which is my hip. But then I'm making the leg go into 40 and then into 38 for the rest of the way down. Because I know the pant legs are always big and wide on this Surefit Designs pant pattern. Big and wide for me. I like mine a little bit narrower. Because I have skinny legs. All of the weight that I gain is always in my belly and my waist. It's like, why couldn't it spread around a little more? <laughs> so here we are. This is the spice jar method of drawing your Surefit Designs pattern. On your bed, in your little motorhome. Yeah, and you can see outside we're in a campground. We are in a campground and it's quite nice. There's lots of room, and there's a nice picnic table, and there's two much bigger, nicer RVs on each side of us than what we've got. And that's where I sit at night. We had to find some tables, and I found that itty-bitty, teeny-weeny <laughs> little tiny table. Believe it or not, it works! So, anyway, I had that towel on it so I wouldn't spill my drink on it this morning. And there's our recliner, and this is the project I'm taking to Knit Night tonight, to my daughter's store. And we've got it all closed off in the front for the sun. And then, of course, here's my sewing box I brought. Here's some yarn I bought I'm taking to Knit Night for my daughter to wind into those. You know, you can't, you can't use it like this. It has to be wound into a ball thing. 
<coughs> and you can see here we are. There's a camper next to us. Isn't it pretty? This is mm, three miles away from the house we had here. Very close. Arcadia Lake in Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh, Jerry and I didn't care much for this lake then, but we like it a lot now because <laughs> it's got a really nice RV park. Alrighty. Let me put you back in the microwave so I can talk to you some more. I apologize for whatever lighting issues there are, whatever sound issues there are. I know the air conditioner is running and you can probably hear that. I have not had a drop of coffee. Not a drop of coffee. I have had my hot water and a whole lemon and a little bit of honey. I don't know if it's still hot. That is one of spicy cup of hot stuff. <laughs> a whole lemon in it. <laughs> so we went to Walmart last night because I forgot to bring lemons. And I thought that I needed a lemon squeezer thingy. I thought, let me show you what it is in case you don't know. I thought I needed one of these thingies, see? that you cut your lemon in half and then you put the flat side down and then you close this. Every speck of juice comes out of that lemon. It's wonderful. Well, I forgot that I brought it. So, I went there to buy lemons and I said, Oh, Jerry, I need one of those lemon squeezer thingies. So, we went all over the store looking for it. Couldn't find it. So, then I got on my phone and I got on my Walmart app because I've seen Terry do it. And you can put in the Walmart app what you're looking for and it knows it knew what store I was in. You know, isn't that mm, scary? It knew exactly what store I was in. And it said, go to H4. There's one of this style on H4. Then it had another one that was Z26. Z like zipper, 26. And then there was one, the squeezy kind like I just showed you, was supposed to be on Z26. The one on H4 was a different kind that was just a squeezer thing on top and it went down into a little plastic jar type thing. I didn't care which kind. So we went to H4. We looked and looked and looked. We had no idea where Z was. And so we started wandering around and you know Jerry and I always look lost. And some lady took pity on us. This lady that works there. <laughs> and she said, can I help you? So I told her what I just told you. She said, oh, oh, let me go look. You probably just missed it. I mean Jerry and I have been looking for it for 30 minutes. So we went to H4 where it was supposed to be. And this lady, I wish I would have gotten her name. And she looked, and she looked, and she looked. Hold on, i got to sneeze. No matter where you stand in an RV, you have an air conditioner thing right above your head, and they make me sneeze. So this lady came, and she looked, and she looked, and she looked, and she looked. And then she looked up the same thing on her phone that I had on my phone. And she said, well, my phone says that there's one in such and such place. So, we went over to whatever such and such place that was. We never did find one. And so then I said, well, my phone says there's one on Z26. And I said, I don't even know where the Z's are. And she said, oh, that's the cash registers. So then we walked up and went down to all the cash registers looking for Z26. We found Z29, 28, 27. Didn't find 26. Oh, it's unbelievable the time we spent looking for a lemon squeezer last night. So then she says to me, you know, we're over on the side of Walmart where they sell the bed sheets and the Pioneer Woman and, you know, the paint and the automotive and all that stuff. She says, I think I can find one over in the grocery department on an end aisle. She said, you know, looking at us thinking, you both look so tired and so old. She said, why don't you two just stay here and I'll run down there and look for it. That lady went all the way to the other side of the store and she found an end aisle that had, let me show you what it had. It's drying out in my strainer here. She came back with this little thing. Look at it. You're supposed to put it in a bottle. The only thing is it's the exact same size as this bottle so it just sits on the top of it. But it's supposed to go down into a bottle and then you squeeze your lemon up here. So she came back, ran all the way back across the store to where we were and she brought us this. I just thought that was so, so nice. I, Jerry said, we need to do a review on her. And I said the same thing. I said, we need to find out how we can tell somebody what great service we got here. <laughs> you know, you don't get great service anywhere anymore. So we were um, 
we were really pleased last night that that lady went to all that trouble. I mean, we had gotten to the point we didn't even care if we had a lemon squeezer or not. But that lady was trying so hard to find it for us that uh, we just wanted to wait and see if she did. So anyway, I'm going to have to make this short. I've got to finish drawing my pants. I'm on the front. Then I've got to do the back. And then I've got to do the uh, waistband and the pockets. And I can't sew it because I don't have a sewing machine. But when I get back home to my house, I'll have a brand new pattern all ready to cut out to make myself some new pants. So isn't that fun? All right, folks, I'm going to let you go and just practice uploading the movie I just made. Wish me luck. Bye for now.